Welcome to all. I am Parthivan going to present about steam nozzle problem. In the last class we have discussed about the convergent divergent nozzle and those problems. Now we are going to see the nozzle parameter calculation as well as how uh, the temperature and the velocity at throat uh, going to calculate using uh, no losses so in the problem a nozzle is supplied with steam at 0.7 mega pascal and 275 degree celsius determine temperature and velocity at throat considering no losses if diverging portion of nozzle is 6 cm long and throat diameter of 0.5 cm determine the angle of cone in nozzle so that steam leaves nozzle at 0.1 megapascal assume heat utilization in diverging portion to be 85 percent solving using molier diagram here we are going to use molier diagram to calculate uh, the required find out like angle of cone in nozzle the velocity and temperature at throat as well here already we know the p1 pressure at inlet temperature at inlet pressure at exit length of nozzle diameter at throat 0.5 centimeter and efficiency 85 80 percentage we have to find out angle of cone in nozzle and velocity temperature at throat here the solution where the at the inlet uh, pressure p1 and t1 known so from that we can calculate the hr sr value by interpolation through pa ta pb tb values from that value we can call we can obtain the enthalpy and the entropy from the steam table corresponding pressure and temperature here the interpolation formula also given in the problem hr minus hb minus ha minus hb is equal to tr minus tb my ta minus tb from that we know all the values except hr value so that we can calculate the hr enthalpy r like that the entropy also we can calculate in that similar manner sr value is equal to s1 hr value is equal to h1 so from the calculation the interpolation we can get the h1 and s1 and throat the throat pressure is calculated by using the P2 by P1 relation is equal to 2 by n plus 1 power n by n minus 1. And from steam table, we know the pressure uh, P2 3.8, HF2 value also obtained from the P2 value, HFG2, HF2, SFG2, VF2, VG2. From the equation, S1 is equal to S2 due to the isentropic process. Here, the SF2 plus AX2 SFG2 relation will provide the S1, S2 is equal to S1 value. From that, we can calculate the X2, the dryness fraction of the steam value. So, uh, as well as the use Molier diagram chart will provide that value h2 at throat section h2 value obtained from the molly diagram like that t2 value v2 value the throat velocity if inlet velocity neglected c2 is equal to 44.72 square root of h1 minus h2 so we can calculate the c2 value and then throat area from the continuity equation like m is equal to 
m means mass flow rate is equal to density rho 1 a 1 area at a entrance velocity at a entrance c 1 is equal to rho 2 a 2 c 2 and m 1 is equal to a 2 c 2 divided by v 2 so we can calculate the m 1 value like that in the exit of nozzle also provide the required finding values where steam table steam table steam table at pressure p3 is used to obtain the hf3 hfg3 sf3 sfg3 data value as well as vf3 vg3 also obtain from the equation in the according the process s3 is equal to s1 so that we can calculate the sf3 plus x3 sfg3 relation provide the sf s1 or s3 value directly from the value we can calculate the unknown value of x3 value h3 is equal to hf3 plus x3 hf g3 where we know all the values previously we obtained from the steam table at con at the pressure and the temperature value respectively so that we can calculate the h3 value enthalpy at exit exit velocity if inlet velocity neglected the c3 velocity at the exit can calculate 44.72 square root of eta multiply with h1 minus h3 area at the exit is also calculated is also used to um, obtain the area value by continuity equation where m is equal to rho 1 a 1 c 1 is equal to rho 2 a 2 c 2 is equal to rho 3 a 3 c 3 so from the continuity equation we also calculate the a 3 value the a 3 is equal to mass flow rate divided by density at third cross section as well as the velocity at the exit also known value so we can calculate a3 value after calculating the a3 value we can calculate the diameter value from the area formula a3 is equal to by d cube because the cross section will be round shaped so that we can use the circular cross sectional area to calculate the area by by 4 into d square here exit area denoted that d3 after calculating the d3 we can calculate the cone angle 2 alpha tan alpha is equal to d3 minus d2 divided by 2 multiply with 60 which will give the alpha value the cone angle value is equal to 2 alpha is equal to 1.69 thanks for watching uh, this continuation will be uh, next to part